Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Soul Belly Barbecue for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. This event has become a great gathering place of awesome talent and the people that appreciate it. Unfortunately, this will be the last weekly showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue for the foreseeable future. No! God, please, no! 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 Don't despair. It will still be going on monthly, so stay tuned for updates about that. If you'd like to be on the showcase, hit up House of R here or using his social media down in the description. I've also included the social media for every performer mentioned in this video. While you're down there, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. I'd appreciate it, and I thank you. Oh, and if you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down there as well. That's also where you can find ways to support the channel and uh, help me support the scene. Thanks. Now then, let's send the weekly version of this shindig off with a bang. And who knows, we might even see some ghosts. You can go haunt someone else now. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking things off as usual was our host, Hal Savar, handing out candy and treats to performers, and this time, he was the Phantom of the Opera. Always fun to watch, Hal likes to combine humor and life experiences into catchy earworms that do a great job of breaking the ice and warming up a crowd. Following Hal was someone new to the Soul Belly Showcase stage, Elizabeth Petra. Dressed as a cat and introducing some island vibes courtesy of her ukulele, Liz brought a chill yet upbeat vibe to the event that reminded me of Squirrel Nut Zippers one moment and Jason Mraz the next, and was something everyone enjoyed. I'm hoping to get her on the channel soon. Coming up next was Joe LaRocco, also known as Joe the Associate, joined by Quinn Turner, Mariah Cody, and JD Sunday. We'll be seeing more of Quinn and JD later. Joe's music is reminiscent of Pink Floyd and Joe Walsh, but with his own style of vocals. Unusual themes run through his music, and I'm looking forward to getting him on the channel someday soon as well. After Joe and the gang were finished, Hal popped back on stage, and this time, he was Elvis! <laughs> Up next was Nicholas Morgan, who's coming on the channel soon, but has been a repeat offender at the showcase. He was joined by Hal Rigo Flores on bass, and Room 6 guest and occasional Showtime sit-in drummer, Amante. Nicholas's music has elements of John Mayer, Jason Mraz, and a pinch of Woody Guthrie all in the mix, making a unique sound that's familiar yet all his own. Whether by himself or with accompaniment, his songs are a treat to listen to. After Nicholas's set, everyone stayed on stage while Hal grabbed the microphone. Every time Hal plays his music with other musicians, it somehow instantly sounds better which is saying something. The next act to grace the stage was Lisa McFarlane, also known as Lisa Mack, who also just recently dropped into Room 6 after years of us talking about doing it. Lisa's performances are always full of powerhouse vocals, raw emotion, and guitar work that fits the song perfectly. She is an example of how to make the most of just a voice and a guitar to make an impact. All at Odds, friends of the showcase and friends of Room 6, were up next. Currently a two-piece band, this dynamic duo blends vocals full of a little clever humor with atmospheric guitar leads and great chemistry on stage. I look forward to their first recorded material in the future. Made up of four singer-songwriters that have all been on Room 6 individually and together, three members of the Maybe Four hit the stage next. These amazing performers actually play music on each other's music, so it really is like having four groups in one on the stage at the same time. This time, it was Mandolin, Chris Dunn, and Russell Christian sharing their music, and it was all great, and I hope we hear some Maybe 4 original music from them soon. Once the Maybe 4 were done, Hal jumped back on the mic to introduce the headliners. And this time, he was Superman! Look, up in the sky! My yard. Finishing out the night were the headliners of the evening, Ronnie Wilder and the Skimmers. 
Cranking things up a notch and blowing the doors off the place, Ronnie and the band proceeded to rock out with Ronnie's strong voice ringing out over a talented band of musicians. Her performance on Room 6 was plenty powerful, but with this band, she's unstoppable. Working the crowd and constantly hitting her mark, the audience left that night on a natural high. Overall, this final weekly installment of the Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was one for the books. Keep your eyes on this page for more news coming soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you're in the area of Main Street in downtown Las Vegas in the Arts District, feel free to swing by Soul Belly Barbecue. Uh, we will be there for the showcase November 20th, which um, is a Sunday, still, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll still be live streaming it on this channel. Also, live streaming over on Twitch as well at the same time. So, you know, come hit me up, Room 6 LV. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. Click down there, don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.